Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Curry. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University, as well as an extension specialist in greenhouse and controlled environment crop production with Iowa State Extension and Outreach. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about how to use strip kits to test for plant viruses. There are a number of plant viruses that can be present in our greenhouse crops that can be vectored by insects and ultimately cause you crop losses and crop damage, making your crops unsaleable. So how can we test for some of these viruses in-house? By using a strip kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use these strip kits. They're easy and they're an affordable way to do in-house virus monitoring. First, we want to take our strip kit with the buffer solution. We want to go ahead and open up this package. Once you have your package open, be careful not to spill out the buffer that's inside the package. Next, we want to get an approximately one square inch of tissue from plants that we're testing. With this tomato, I'm simply going to cut off a leaflet. That's close to about a square inch. For very thick leaves, you may need to use slightly less tissue as we're trying to achieve a dilution rate of approximately one to 20 plant tissue to buffer. Once you have your square inch of tissue, place it inside of the kit with the buffer solution. Once your leaf is inside the kit with the buffer solution, we wanna go ahead and macerate the tissue. You can use something just like this pen. You wanna rub it across the leaf and get that extract from the leaf in the buffer solution. Once you have thoroughly decimated the tissue, we wanna let it sit inside of that buffer solution for about three minutes in order to let it mix with the buffer. I've already got a sample that I've let sit for three minutes. Here's a sample that's been sitting for three minutes. Once we're ready to go ahead and proceed with our strip kit test, we want to take our test strips that are going to help us identify the virus. Be careful to always handle these strips by the end that you're not going to dip into the solution. Now, we've got our strip kit and we've got our decimated tissue in the solution. The next thing we want to do is dip these strips inside the solution. When you're placing the strips inside the solution, be careful not to place the strip any farther than the line that is indicated on the strip kit. Go ahead and place this in here. Once the tip of the strip is submerged, allow it to sit for anywhere from five to 30 minutes and draw that solution of buffer and macerated plant tissue up the strip, which is ultimately going to help us identify our viruses. Let's go ahead and take a look at a strip that's already been sitting in the solution for a while. Here we have some strips that have already been submersed in the solution for approximately 10 minutes. Now you'll see that there are four different strips on this specific kit. Each strip tests for a different virus. We have cucumber mosaic virus, impatiens necrotic spot virus, tomato spotted wilt virus, and tobacco mosaic virus. Now when you are interpreting the results of your test, we're basically looking for one or two lines. These top lines are the control lines, indicating that enough solution was absorbed that's going to identify the virus. Now, thankfully, these plants are not infected, so we don't see a second lower line on these tests. But here's a shot of some strips that do show that positive second line, indicating a virus is present in our plants. 
This video shows you how to successfully use strip kits to test for plant viruses in the greenhouse. It can be an affordable way to make sure that you're avoiding any sort of crop damage or crop losses that may occur from viruses in the greenhouse. I hope this has helped, and thanks for watching another eGrow instructional video.